Welcome to bottle cap pendant making. The supplies you need are bottle caps, E6000 adhesive or super glue, the printed design, ice resin, and a small bathroom size cup for mixing and something to mix the resin with. Where do I get a design? There are many vendors online that sell digital files that you can download. They're on Etsy and Artfire. Or you can make your own with any graphic design software. I made these little princess badges uh, for my granddaughters. Uh, I used Photoshop and used a princess crown and put their names there. I printed this on 4 by 6 photo paper and cut them out. Now you have to make sure you allow your printing to dry. If your inkjet, the ink does come off uh, if you drip water or anything on it, then you need to take your printout and lightly spray it with some sort of sealant so that the ink does not blob once you put the resin glue on. So I cut these out and I put the E6000 adhesive on the bottom of the bottle cap. Now the most difficult part of this is getting the design to be straight in the bottle cap the way it's going to hang. Allow the E6000 to dry and you can start mixing your resin ice. As I said, if your inkjet colors tend to blur if there's water drops put on it, you need to lightly spray the photo paper with the sealant. Otherwise, just wait for your inkjet ink to dry before you put any kind of resin on it. The easiest to use to print your designs on is photo paper. Usually I use the 4x6 size because I can print out just a few designs. I wanted to explain about resin. There are many different types that you'll hear people talk about. Some are more complicated than others. You will hear about easy cast, which is really difficult to use. You have to be very accurate in your measurements and you need a well-ventilated room to use it in. The measurement must be very accurate and it is difficult to make just enough for a small project. There are also epoxy resin dots which I have never used. My favorite is ice resin. It's easiest to use. You just push the plunger and it's measured for you and as long as you mix it enough, it's great. When you initially purchase the ice resin, it's going to have, between the plungers, the stopper that you will use after you open it. This stopper, remove it. The plungers are not going to go up or down until you remove that. And then you cut the tips off and then you take this, you can see one side is flat. Take your stopper and the flat side will go on that flat side. I have one that's already open right here and I'm going to remove it. The stopper 
and I am going to just push the plunger to basically fill the bottom of the cup. Remember flat side goes on flat side and it's sealed. I actually use leftover Bluebell popsicle sticks for stirring. Just make sure that you clean them off as much as you possibly can. You must stir for at least two minutes. If you do not, the resin will not cure and it will remain sticky no matter what you do. Use the mixing stick to guide the resin into the bottle cap. Do not fill to the top. The resin will shrink to some degree. If necessary, after the 24-hour cure, you can add another layer. This second layer will take another 24 hours to cure. But when it does, there will be a slight dome shape to the resin. You do not need this on bottle cap pendants, but other jewelry projects do. Ready to pour the ice resin. If you do not stick your design to the bottle cap, it will literally float when you add the resin into the bottle cap. So it is very important that you do secure it to the bottom of the bottle cap. It will take about 24 hours for the resin to cure. If you did not mix it well enough, your resin is going to stay sticky no matter what you do. So if after 24 hours your resin is still sticky, you probably did not mix it long enough. After it's cured the 24 hours, you may want to do another layer depending upon how much it shrinks up on the first application. But that is entirely up to you. When the resin is uncured, you it may look like it has bubbles in it. It's going to be not that clear, but once it cures, it will be clear, shiny, and ready for you to wear. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like Nature's Soul on Facebook, and you will be told of future tutorials that I am working on for various other projects. Thank you.